It is indeed um, a learning curve, but fantastic. I mean, boy, if I would have known about stuff like this earlier in my youth, 50s or 60s, <laughs> I would have, I would have, you know, jumped on this a lot sooner. Sure, I understand. Same here. Same here. All right, everybody, I'm standing here with John. Say hi, John. Hi, everybody out there. <laughs> now, John's a little nervous. He said he's never done anything like this before, but I'll go ahead and tell you that this, you're in the same boat as everybody else that, we, I've, <laughs> okay. been, uh, that I've been doing walkthrough videos with in the last couple of days. But uh, we're here at the uh, 2024 Spring Rendezvous, uh, Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous, I should say, being held June the 10th through the June the 14th in Greenville, Missouri at Greenville Campground. And let me ask you right quick, John, how are you enjoying the rendezvous so far? It's been wonderful. Beautiful place around here. Everything's well spaced apart. Everybody's yeah. very friendly. Yeah. Have you made a lot of new friends so far? Just starting to get involved with talking with people. Yeah. Yeah. My wife got me lost in Arkansas yesterday. Oh, so. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I remember you telling me the story. Y'all yeah. ended up way over by... Um, uh, Mountain Home. That's right. Mountain Home, Arkansas. <laughs> Man, that's a ways away. It yeah. was. Yeah, but it's beautiful country, isn't beautiful it? Beautiful country, but yeah. it was 12 hours that we were gone. There you go. <laughs> Lost in the mountains. <laughs> so you so you missed out on uh, campground stories last night because of that, but uh, yep. you're yep. going to be here for campground bingo tonight. I'm, we are. We're okay. both going to be there. Good. You're going you're to have a lot of fun. You'll Excellent. really enjoy Excellent. it. I, I give you my word. I promise. Okay, let, tell us a little bit about your uh, your trailer here. Well, this is a uh, an older um, vehicle that uh, we picked up um, used, and uh, it's a um, six by fourteen. Okay, does that include the the length the of the V, v? in the front? No, so, so the full length That's is fourteen. That's twelve, foot. but I guess gotcha. with the front it's, it's fourteen. Okay. Um, relatively light. It's our the first trailer I've ever had. In my life uh, so it's been a, a learning curve on how to back it up and <laughs> get it where it needs to go um, but uh, you know for we've been um, tent campers for most of my life and um, at uh, 71 I decided it was a little bit too much to sleep on the ground I understand so <laughs> we picked pick this up of course after watching you know you and Deb for a couple of years and uh, convinced us that this is the way we should go instead of getting one of the you know big two-wheelers or or three-wheeler type of thing so yeah and and we love it it's just the right size well fantastic fantastic yep. why don't we take a walk around on the other side over here Alrighty. and just uh, of course I see you got a propane tank going in right there Propane tank. Uh -huh. that's uh, for the uh, hot water on demand Okay. And um, that's all we use it for. Um, my cooking I do on a, a Coleman with just the small one pounders. So uh, I can hook it up to that, but yeah. it's and much easier not to. In case people ask, it's a Wells Fargo right. trailer. Yeah, and yeah. again, it's an older trailer, but it's all uh, aluminum. I uh, believe that's a fiberglass front cap on the, on the top, but uh -huh. uh, no leakage at all. Um, Boy, that's a plus right there for sure. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. So tell us what this vent is right here. That vent is um, the output for a uh, small air conditioner, and um, it's a tiny, a tiny window unit that's uh, sufficient to keep everything cold on the on the inside there, and and it does run off of our. Um, solar panels off, uh, off of the top. Yeah, you were telling me that. That's right. really awesome because you're not plugged into shore power at we all. We have no shore power. No. Nope. Uh, the storage batteries, um, they charge quite quickly. Um, they are larger than the 200 watts that we have up on the uh, yeah. roof there. And so uh, they run, oh, we can go two days in darkness almost. Wow. Um, so what's um, this coming in right here? That is the water input for a 30 gallon uh, wa freshwater storage. Okay. And um, it's so we don't have any black water. Um, 
so everything basically goes to gray but that's uh 30 gallons that we use for the shower which we have on the inside all right primary thing as my wife says if we get a trailer it's got to have uh, washroom facilities on the inside yeah so. i understand <laughs> i'm the same way i'm the same way my wife tells me i'm high maintenance what do you think oh i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so anyway and i see you've got this set up you know like a deck back here on the back right right um it, it was, um, when we originally got it, set up uh, for like a toy, toy hauler uh, with the bed in the back. It actually splits in the middle, as I can show you, and uh, they could pull in uh, bikes or a small motorcycle on the inside. Uh, but we decided to make it just, you know, a, a pure bed area with uh, storage. And um, it's perfectly fine that way we don't have to set it set it up every night all right and um, I've got a uh, technically it's a, an 8 by 10 um, awning in the back here that's super easy to set up I do it on two bungee cords it lays over a lip on the top of the uh, uh, camper and I've got um, the uh, poles that I use to stretch it out tent style yeah. And um, that's adequate. But I've also has funds for the um, the side on the outside as well. However, with the huge slab that we have, I don't have any room to stake it out. So gotcha. we're just going to go with the the back one right. Yeah, and we haven't moment. had any real high winds or anything, so it's it's working no, out okay. No, it's so easy to take down. I can take it down in a matter of a couple minutes. Sure. I will point out that you do have solar panels on top. Yes. Let me go ahead and stretch this out so they can get a look at those. All right up there so there's your two 100 watt solar panels up on top right there correct correct all righty all right well what do you say is it time to go inside sure all right i'll just follow I you and get a good shot from right here everything i need to see is right here all right well i'm gonna let you do the talking you want to start back here at but the back? uh yep we've got a um a twin size bed which is a hair short by about four inches but uh, even with my six foot, foot uh, height, I'm a side sleeper and so is Dawn. So um, it's more than adequate for the two of us and still comfortable. I can uh, lean up and, and read with my back up against the wall. And um, underneath the uh, bed, there is two storage boxes, which I don't know if oh yeah okay yeah. it folds down so we've got the opening in the middle again so if you want to bring in like a, a, a cycle or something like that you can you can indeed do that and uh, make it into like two benches um, on the uh, right side here is where the uh, storage batteries and the converter is stored okay and on the left side is just pure um, storage space so we can put in uh, three totes inside there if we so desire. Fabulous. And then we've got this uh, and, area here. With right. I'll try to shoot that right quick so you don't have to keep holding that up. No, that's okay. Yeah. And then um, inside here is where the 30 gallon tank is located, which I don't know. I can't open it up. That's all right. Don't worry about it. But um, when we first got this, it actually had bunks here. Mm -hmm. But I took uh, one of the bunks out so that it's just more like a couch put in the uh, setup here so that we have storage space instead um, with the f these being foldable yeah and uh, like a typical trailer this is like a, a earthquake <laughs> <laughs> I know I know what you're saying Believe and so me. we take everything down or they'd be all over the floor um, and then um, we were mentioning you know, air conditioning, oh, okay. small air conditioning unit, and this is just storage up on the top here. So you just simply open the door when you're running the air. Is that what you do? Exactly, okay. exactly. And I've got uh, my my uh, temperature uh, sensors for the refrigerator. Okay. Inside there, um, which uh, I'm running coolers for this trip, but uh, it's. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. adequate size, and um, pretty much would do the things that the uh, coolers are doing. But again, I'm I'm a, a newbie at this, and I'm so used to ice. 
That's all right. We're doing the coolers. That's okay. And, and the sink on the inside here, uh, that's where you'll see that I've got uh, f a five gallon uh, freshwater tank. And I've got a second one that's full as, as well. So we carry uh, 10 fresh uh, gallons of water any place that we go, which is more than adequate almost for a week. Wow. Wow. And um, then, of course, okay, I'll let you keep heat, heat on demand hot water he heater. Um, down here is just more storage. You can see another five gallon. Um, our our uh, sprayer for, for in case of fire and a few other miscellaneous things. And the oddball is the. This is the shower. The shower, and okay. we use it for a restroom. We've got sure. uh, the portable restroom there that we use. Um, is that regular uh, ceramic tile on the wall? That yeah. is regular ceramic. Uh, did you put that in? <laughs> no, that was that was there. That was there. Yeah, the guy that uh, built it um, put that put that in um, for his uh, wife and kids, and uh, so basically all I did was swap out a few things in there so that we could use it for uh, multiple usage. Uh huh. And uh, young guy was uh, he's about 24 years old. Was from close to Peoria, Illinois, that we uh, picked this up at, and. Um, as I said, you know, it was pretty much 75% ready to go. It was beautiful okay. uh, and just perfect for, for the pair of us. Now, do you know if the walls are insulated on it? They I'm are assuming. indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, there's um, an inch in the ceilings and walls, and I th there's also some insulation underneath the flooring as well. Okay, awesome. So it is a three season, four season type of scenario. Sure. How long have you been uh, using it now? This is actually our second outing. Your second outing. All right. So you are a newbie, aren't you? We are very new That's at this. That's all right. Hey, we you are start very, somewhere. Yep. You know? Yep. And it, as I said, it's, I'm just learning how to back this thing up into, into sites. I've had to back it up maybe into five sites since we, we purchased this. And it's. Uh, my wife's out there going a little bit to the left a little bit to the right <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is indeed um, a learning curve but fantastic i mean boy if i would have known about stuff like this earlier in my youth 50s or 60s <laughs> i would have i would have you know jumped on this a lot sooner sure i understand same here same here all right why don't you come on out here ready and we're gonna say goodbye uh and uh, of course, I noticed that now as we come out. Yeah, pretty handy yep. for storage of oh, all different kinds of super, things. I see you've got coffee handy. cups in here. Got coffee cups. Yeah. We've got uh, headlamps. I've it's got. Uh, it's for more than just shoes, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's yeah. for everything but shoes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Your name was John, John. right? Oh, whew. boy, I got it right. <laughs> yep. I start getting nervous because I talk to so many people. Yep. We're yeah. from Southwest Michigan. Oh wow. You're, and we got some other couples here from Michigan as well. Okay. Uh, right now, I can think of you and your wife, and two other couples, and one uh, one single guy so far. Oh, wow. All from Michigan. Wow. Yeah. Son of a gun. Anyway, uh, we sure appreciate you taking the time to show us your rig here, uh, well, John. Well, more than uh, happy to have you take a look at it. Well, and here again, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you being here for your first rendezvous. How cool. It yeah. Is it is the best. <laughs> well, and and that is very flattering. And Deb and I, you know, we get teary-eyed often throughout the day. You know, when people come up and, and tell us how much they appreciate all this. So, yep. you know, uh, it's hard work, but we enjoy it. Well, we wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for watching you guys. Well, and we appreciate that <laughs> as well. Anyway, I've got to go see if I can uh, go see someone else down right. the in, in the rest of the park. So this is Bill and John with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And since you watch our videos, you know exactly what I'm going to say. We're not camping. We're living. All righty. Thank you, John. You bet. Bye-bye.